Howdy hi ho everyone, uh, Sleeptastic Jack here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Need for Speed 2021. Uh, and why am I talking about Need for Speed 2021 now? Uh, we don't know anything about the game. We know very little about the game. Uh, well, uh, here's the thing. I subscribe to the opinion that if you want shit done, you gotta start talking about it early. And Need for Speed 2021 is not gonna be coming out for a good another year and a half. We're probably not even gonna hear about the game for like another year. But now is the time to actually give our feedback on the game. Now is the perfect time to give feedback on the game. And I implore everyone, if you want something done in Need for Speed 2021, you want something fixed from Need for Speed Heat, Payback 2015, you want something new implemented into Need for Speed 2021, you think they should do this, you think they should do that, now is the time to act. Now is the time to raise our voices. And now is the time to start talking about what we want out of a Need for Speed game. And with Criterion at the helm, now is the best time. This, like, it may not seem like nothing's going on right now in the racing community or like racing games in general, but this is actually a very pivotal time for Need for Speed. They're transform, they're changing, changing developers, and they're going through like, this whole new restructuring and everything. Now is the perfect time to let them know what we want and let them know what they should prioritize, what they should fix, all that good shit. So without further interruptions, let's get right into the video. But before we begin, 70% of you fine and beautiful craptastic people aren't even Bruh. subscribed to my channel. I would highly recommend if you love Need for Speed and everything racing games, I highly recommend you subscribe, hit that bell icon as well to be notified when I upload. I do a lot of Need for Speed content. I love Need for Speed. I've been playing it for most the most of my life. So if you really enjoy the content you see here on the channel, you want to see some more Need for Speed content, be sure to follow and subscribe. Shut the fuck up. This is a big pivotal point for Need for Speed right now because right now Criterion are definitely developing the next Need for Speed game. They actually showed off a little rendering um, at EA Play, which really says next to nothing. The only thing it says is that customization is back, which is actually a good sign. I'm kind of glad that they came out and kind of showed that. Unless they're just joshing us and they're going to scrap customization, which they better not fucking do. It looks like customization is here to stay, which is good. Um, and then they also showed that there's going to be high level Porsches and like cult classic JDM cars. So really, um, now is like the time, while they're actually developing the game, to start asking about it because asking for this and this and that after the game's already been announced like that's it's way too late so really if you want to get a good comprehensive detailed discussion going about need for speed especially the next need for speed game now is the time to do it i fucking love this franchise and i want to see it thrive so it's really important that we really start talking about need for speed 2021 now and a good place to start would to be with this document here Let's just move me over there <laughs> eat my ass so if you don't know what this is this is a document that the need for speed community need for speed reddit and discord put together um this was pretty much commissioned by max Myers and a bunch of other people on reddit who did a fantastic job putting this document together df here real quick and it goes over a lot of stuff so if criterion is looking for a good starting point a good basis of what the community wants to see out of a need for speed game this is pretty much the best jumping off point. This is the best place to start. If you don't know, this was a community feedback a document, literally a professional grade document uh, produced by members of the Need for Speed community and um, the Need for Speed Discord and Reddit talking about things they would like to see improved, things that they would like to see made, added into Need for Speed Heat, Need for, things that they would like to see in future Need for Speed games, bugs and stuff that need to be fixed. Um, and there's a whole table of contents and everything. So we're really, for this video, we're going to be talking about the game feature suggestions and all that. And there's also a bunch of bug reports. Things that have never actually been fixed. There's a lot of bugs that were never fixed with uh, heat that need to be definitely fixed uh, for 2021. Uh, but mainly, we're going to be looking at these three things. And it pretty much lists a lot of what we've been saying for years. Uh, the, lack of no the lack of PvP Need for Speed Heat really brought down the game's value and really made the game less enjoyable to play it really reduced the potential amount of game time that could have been there um if pvp was there if speedless were there from the beginning 
the game probably would have had a longer life cycle for in a lot of people's eyes. It probably would have not necessarily a longer life cycle, but like more people would be playing it for longer periods of time. I know I'd be playing it a lot more if they had competitive and like just PvP there in general, if they had the speed list. Payback was probably the worst Need for Speed game ever made, but I kept playing that game because of the speed list. I kept, I put up with the shitty physics because PvP was there. And here's the thing, Need for Speed Heat was an actually great, an actual good game. It just didn't have, it was lacking PvP and the lack of that shows. And that's a big point of contention uh, in the community. So definitely, these are, I, I would definitely have Criterion look at a lot of these, such as the lack of PvP, and work on implementing that into the game on launch. So that way it's there on launch. Or pretty close to launch, but preferably on launch. And improved from 2015 in Need for Speed Payback. And then this bit, it talks about all drive, all drive lobbies, online crews, community wraps, that type of stuff. Especially on new ways to improve the rap library. The rap system in Need for Speed is awesome. But it's really hard to find new wraps. There's no search features, no ability to like search by keywords and all that. Definitely something they should definitely take a look at and improve on for Need for Speed 2021. The rap system's pretty much been the same for the last five years. It's definitely time for a rework. And now here they talk about things that we've been asking for years and just never had. Pink slip races, especially for online seasons, special events. Especially now with every game being live service, seasons and Forza Horizon doing seasons, everything, all, every game doing seasons, it's a, it should be a really good idea if Criterion were to move to do seasons and everything. And I'm not just going to pull from this um, document here, I'm definitely going to give my own ideas of Need for Speed 2021. And this video isn't really me talking about what I'd like to see in Need for Speed 2021, it's more so me discussing the importance of talking about Need for Speed 2021, I want to open a dialogue, I want to start a discussion about Need for Speed 2021 now, because now is the perfect time to get our voice heard, now is the perfect time to talk about what we want, and if we talk about what we want now, it has a much better chance of being implemented into Need for Speed 2021 than it does later down the road when they announce the game. That's what I'm trying to get at here. And I, what my message, I guess, to Criterion is definitely look at this. This document provides a lot of fucking awesome advice, a lot of fucking awesome feedback um, that they should take on board and really hammer in. And when it comes to EA Game Changers and everything, you, they really need Game Changers who really play the game. There's a lot of, I don't want to like start a beef or anything, but there's a lot of people in there who aren't necessarily need for speed fanatics you really need people in the community in the game changers telling you what to do who play the game almost religiously if not religiously and fucking there's people i'm gonna scroll down here why are people like max lazy 10 on the game changers people like max, La max lazy 10 should be game should be a game changer dude had dude is always typing up discussion threads always talking about need for speed on reddit and how it should be improved dude literally created this report like, dude, this dude created a whole fucking professional PDF document talking about what Need for Speed needs, gathering community feedback and everything. Dude would be fucking perfect for game change. You need people like him. You need people like LP Ripper. You need people like CLK Game. I don't care what you think about LP Ripper. Dude fucking loves the series. And <laughs> he definitely knows what's wrong with the series, what's right with the series. He would definitely be awesome on game changers people like them all these people here who did work data working response working on this project you need people like them on game changers people who play the game religiously have been playing it for years know what they're talking about and know what's good for the series and what's bad for the series that's the people you need leading the discussion talking about need for speed and the future need for speed and kind of being like not necessarily liaison but kind of like a connection between the community and the developers and of course just like with the crew 3 i do want to do a discussion series starting soon talking about need for speed 2021 um this is really just a video of me talking about why now is the perfect time to look at need for speed 2015 and start a discussion start talking about what need for speed 2021 needs okay um that's really what i'm trying to get at and if criterion are listening which i hope they are um they will take this document and run with it and this document literally gives them a lot of solutions to a lot of problems that we've been suffering from in need for speed for the past five six years now um they would be foolish to not look at this and say 
Okay. Let, let, let's take let's work with this. I have a much better feeling that Criterion will deliver the Need for Speed experience we've been longing for for years to come, but they really can't do that unless we tell them exactly what we want, and now is the perfect time to do that. That's really what I'm trying to get at here. And of course, I want to start a Need for Speed 2021 discussion series. Let me know what you would like me to talk about. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking of doing like a topic and then a video on said topic, like the map or the like the races the different types of races cars that type of stuff that's what i'm trying to kind of thinking of doing it but that's it for me tonight thank you all for tuning in i'll catch you guys in my next video have a good night guys